crucial, crucial element on basically any website is some form of FAQ. Whether you're a business like me who, you know, who well, whose clients have a ton of questions about the service and what the process actually looks like, you know, what are your rates, blah, blah, blah. Really important. Whether it's a sales page, you know, what's included, who's the best fit for the course, whatever it is, FAQs and FAQ accordions in particular are a pivotal piece to the puzzle. Didn't mean for that to all be peas, but that's how it come out. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to set up an accordion and how to turn it into an FAQ. So the first thing we want to do is locate the page that we're going to add our FAQ to. We're going to edit and usually this will sit at the bottom of the page. So we'll sit it between a CTA and, you know, the, the blogs or the services. So add a section. I believe Squarespace has or did have an FAQ template. Must have, um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know where it's gone. Anyway, who needs templates when you've got me? I've just got the section, nice blank section. We'll go add a block and we'll start off by clicking text. And we'll just make this span the width of the grid. And then we'll say FAQ. We'll make this a H2. And then we'll put that in the middle. Make sure it's all sized correctly. Uh, let's differentiate it by just changing the color. We'll make it nice salmon pink. Add a block. And then we're going to find our accordion block like so. And we will make this span to do, 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 three in. Lovely. So we've got the, the base of the accordion. I'll center align that. And we're going to double click. From now on, it's completely personal preference on, on my part. So hit design. And then I don't like the top divider to be on. Don't know why, I just don't. So I'm going to click on first. And then I don't like the plus icons either. I like them to be arrows. And I like them to be medium, but small thickness. So I always think arrows should be on the right. Title should be on the left. FAQ should never be uh, center aligned. I just think it looks really odd. But again, this is all personal preference. So you can change all the styling here. Personally, I think that the styling looks looks fine out of the box, apart from the plus and the, um, the top divider. Then we've got the content. Oh, actually, back into design. If we click on description, we need to make the width large because what... I don't know why they do it, but what Squarespace do is they let the text go up to about here. So the default is medium and then it, it starts a new line from here and there's just all this weird dead space. So make sure that's on large. I'd keep it left aligned. And then you've got the content. So the title of your accordion is going to act as the question. So is Sam the greatest Squarespace designer of all time? That would be our question. And you know, obviously the answer is yes, nobody is as good and handsome. I can't even spell handsome. Handsome as Sam. I'm sure there's people who are better at typing, but there's not people who are better in general. Anyway, you can see, okay, cool. The accordion set up of, you know, you would put in all of your questions and answers. If you wanted to add a new one, you could add that in, add that in. You can move them about. Uh, if you want to get rid of one, click the bin. Nice and simple. You can then click save and exit, and then we can test it. So we'll go down to the FAQ, wherever it is. Here we go. And then you can test how that looks. So, you know, you've got the question, the answer, and you can change the sizing. So to me, this looks a little bit small. I know it's how the template's set up, but if we go into edit and then we double click, we can go into design and description and we can change the style so based on whatever site styles we've set that will dictate how big the uh, how big the text is when we select p2 p3 or p1 so i think that's okay and then i'm going to make the heading heading three there we go lovely jubbly i mean to be honest that that is a little bit big but it's better than what it was before so to check again okay lovely nice and simple. And that's it. So hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully now that you know I'm the best Squarespace designer in the world and the most handsome person in the world, you might want to hire me to design your Squarespace website 
If you do, you can get in touch using the links in the description.